Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine one-sided limits on the TA-89 graphing calculator. So looking at our first limit, we have the limit as x approaches 2 from the right or positive side of the absolute value of the quantity x minus 2 divided by the quantity x minus 2. To determine the limits, we'll be using the limit function located under the calculus menu, which we access by pressing F3. So let's press F3. Notice limit is number 3. We can either arrow down to 3 and press enter or just press 3. And now we enter the function, which again is the absolute value of the quantity x minus 2 divided by the quantity x minus 2. To access the absolute value, we must go to the catalog, which is here. So we'll press catalog. ABS stands for absolute value, which is the first choice. So we press enter. And then we have in parentheses x minus 2. So now we need to close the parenthesis for the absolute value divided by the quantity x minus 2, which must be in parentheses. So open parenthesis x minus 2, close parenthesis, comma, the variable which is x, comma. Because we're approaching positive 2 from the positive side or right side, we first enter 2 and then comma. To indicate we're approaching from the positive side, we need to enter a positive number here. I typically use positive 1 when approaching from the positive side or right side, and a negative one when approaching from the negative or left side. So let's enter one, close parenthesis, and enter. This limit as x approaches two from the right or positive side is equal to positive one. And I've also graphed this function just to verify. So if we press diamond F3, where it says we approach positive two from the left side or positive side, we are approaching positive one. Let's go back to the home screen. Notice how the only difference between the first limit and second limit is here we're approaching two from the right or positive side, and here we're approaching two from the negative or left side. But just for review, let's go through this process again. Press F3 and then number three. Enter the function, which is the absolute value of the quantity x minus two, close parenthesis, divided by the quantity x minus two, close parenthesis, comma, the variable x, comma, we're approaching two, comma, because we're approaching from the left or negative side, we enter a negative value, for example, negative one, close parenthesis. Notice how I made a mistake here, so we can press the back arrow, change that to a close parenthesis, and then press enter. And notice how this one side of the limit is equal to negative one. Going back to the graph one last time by pressing diamond F3. Notice how this does verify our limit. As we approach two from the left or negative side, we are approaching a function value of negative one. Going back to the home screen again, for this last limit, we should recognize because these two one side limits are not the same, this limit does not exist. But let's see what the calculator gives us for this limit. Because this is not a one-sided limit, what we can do is use the previous entry and just remove the comma and the negative one here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to press the right arrow and then left arrow once, and then delete, 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 and press Enter. And notice how the calculator indicates this limit is undefined, which indicates the limit does not exist which we normally indicate using the letters D and E. And again, this should not be a surprise because in order for this limit to exist, these two one-sided limits must be the same. I hope you found this helpful.